All right, adventurers, another day, another quest. Remember when we explored Mars, nearly died, and managed to make the advanced circuits? Well, hold on to your helmets because we were just warming up. On the agenda today, well, we want to get to Mercury, unlock the next chapter, as I think we are nearing the end of the pack. In order to do that, we need to ramp up steel production, make a new tough spacesuit, and the next tier of rocket. So strap in, we've got tons to do. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. Your support means a lot to me and really helps me kick out this awesome content. Right, ready to roll? Let's dive in and get to Mercury. Right, first on the list is steel. We need more steel. The spacesuit, the military grade spacesuit requires steel it requires a lots of sturdy sheets as well and the rocket requires steel steel blocks so we need to make a lot more steel and i suspect there's a lot more things that require steel so we're going to set up a bit of a factory for steel i've already got this set up um which will eventually this tank will be have fluid uh steel liquid steel in it uh, molten molten steel that's the word and this actually for you making molten steel this is the best way so in a mixer we can use steel dust and superheated so we need to superheat our blaze burner with fuel and that makes steel and steel dust we can make even more more effectively this was six iron and four coal dust makes one steel dust but in a blast furnace if i use one carbon cell and one molten iron cell i make four steel dust so that's what we're going to do so as i like to do we're going to work backwards so i want to make the blast furnace and i think i've got everything i need for the blast furnace which is in my inventory it is good so i've got you over here now i believe incomplete multi-block oh oh well i didn't realize this was a multi-block did you know this was a multi-block i didn't know this was a multi-block um right let's uh let's try and figure out the multi-block i think i figured this out um and i had to look at the wiki i'll leave a link to the wiki in the description and it tells you how to do this you can use any of the machine frames from standard upwards and i believe uh we have uh, a three by four by three block so that's those three and i think in the middle of this one you put your blast furnace thing and we want to connect that to power so let's um hmm, power needs to come under here it needs to go into there we've got any power leads down here already nope okay and okay you can come out this way well hmm, straight up join on to okay so you've got power so that's the first layer and then it's um another layer two more layers but with a gap in the middle uh i could probably do a couple of blocks to stand on so that's got a gap in the middle we've got another layer with a gap in the middle and then we put this layer is a complete layer on the top and what do i do now um, how do i get stuff how do i this is this getting complete multi-block like toggle multi-block let's have a look i done wrong ah oh, okay it needs to be at the front ah okay all right we can get rid of you lot then probably don't want to get rid of you by the looks of it that needed to be in the two buckets of lava in the middle well that wasn't in the wiki oh that's optional i believe looking at back at the wiki sorry i'm having to figure this out uh with you guys um but it looks like you put that there with power leading to it fine then we put our machine casings uh as you see here i think okay did you form do something aha oh look we got heat okay good 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 now i think if we get two buckets of lava and you see we've got heat 1360 the more advanced machine frames increase the heat as well but i think if i jump up here and just break you put lava bucket there and a lava bucket there and then quickly place you there and you there you should have more heat it does look ha huh? okay good Oof. Hopefully you've understood how that is built. Uh, right, back to trying to make this steel dust. I've got to work out how to get the steel dust up there now. Um, right, pipes, but let's make the steel dust first. For the steel dust, we need carbon cells and iron cells. Carbon cells come from, you can actually use an industrial centrifuge uh, for rubber, with rubber and some empty cells, five, and you get methane, carbon, and sap. So uh, I've got an industrial centrifuge set up along my set here. I need to have five empty cells i pop you in there and you should make you you you, you should make it needs more than one log i suspect um you should make carbon methane and sap we're good we can put the sap in there and let it process into rubber and now we need to make iron cells so i need iron cells and i need more empty cells we can, right we've got some empty cells and the way you fill them up uh, i have a spout connected to my uh, fluid iron my i molten iron and you can just pop a empty cell under a spout on a depot and you get 
and the molten iron cell and let's pop these in and see what happens and we are very slowly making steel dust i hope thrown some more overclockers in there and we've got 12 steel dust awesome all right the next job is to make a distillation tower which makes the fuel cells and the fuel and the fuel cells then go into the blaze burner and um superheat it but the distillation tower is a bit of a craft so we need industrial electrolyzers which are extractors and uh advanced um circuits so we've got all of that stuff we know how to make the advanced machine frame um it's led onto a basic machine frame and we need industrial centrifuges which we've just made so and extractors i'm gonna i'm gonna get all of that crafted and then it's another multi-block and the multi-block uses basic machine frames and industrial machine frames so i'll get that set up and well i might as well put it next to this guy because it's the same size it's a three by three but this time the bottom layer is nine uh basic basic machine frames then we have eight because we leave a gap in the middle for some reason eight of these and i need to go up a block have i got any block two got two blocks and then we use the eight basic machine frames and then we use the nine final nine of these guys the uh industrial machine frame and then like like this guy we want to power it so if i've got my gold cables i do good these are uh, medium tier machines so they take 128 fe a tick and you need to use at least gold cables i believe um and we can then pipe across here and connect you with power pop our distillation tower down and i believe if i right click on it incomplete multi-block okay what have i done wrong um what's wrong what's in oh yeah i know that i've done that yeah i've done that built it right from what i can see maybe it just needs to be built again incomplete multi -block. because this is connected up here maybe possibly I and mean, that's overstressed anyway what was that running i was running all of that we'll figure that out in a minute let's get rid of you for now um see what happens if i just break now are you not incomplete now are you working no still incomplete okay let's get rid of all of it um, um, maybe I can use my rent to do this. Can't use the rent too quicker. Well, that's exactly how I built it. I figured it. Um, it needed standard machine casings in this pack. So the wiki says basic, but it needs standard. I, I noticed when I looked at the hologram that it looked a bit, bit different to the actual basic casing. Um, so I've used standard and we now have distillation tower. How do we use this? So I suspect you put empty cells in it. Um, and I think to get uh do, 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 fuel fuel cells fuel cells from this we can distillation tower distillation tower we have to have an oil cell so how do we make oil cells well oil cells appear to be soul soil or soul sand in a industrial centrifuge we've got soul sand i think we've been making soul sand Aha. we might not have been make, making a lot of it but there we go we've got soul sand and we need empty cells which is going to tin isn't it empty cells go good eight of them that'll do and in our industrial centrifuge is you pretty you pop you in there and pop you in there and now you're doing your thing ha fuel cell another fuel cell another fuel cell and we get sand back coal dust and saltpeter so we could potentially create a loop here oh that might be a bit exciting but we're going to just do these processes first because i want to get the mercury hang on so if we pop our fuel our oil cells in there and you are now doing a thing we need more overclockers remember overclockers they were water weren't they overclockers they were uh water coolant and a simple circuit we've got all of that stuff let's overclock you you are overclocked and you now don't have enough power enough power that's charging so three works four was too many for our power supply and we should get in a minute there is you taking so long okay well, it's still very slow back in a minute we are nearly there and we are there we have a fuel cell right and sulfuric acid oh okay interesting um now i wonder right can i just right click you on okie dokie we've got to pipe the fuel in uh -huh. right so we need to go to the next stage and actually that's the way up i need it um so we should be able to run a belt we want this stuff on an item i think if we put this on an item drain pipe it straight up to where's our blaze burner blaze burner there i'm gonna pipe it into there from our item drain so if we pop our item drain here because if i pop you on there yep okay and now let's get some pipes i don't know whether this 
this is going to work but if i take you out and pop you in there and then pop you you should be pulling you're not pulling oh okay but hang on maybe it can go into a basic fluid tank uh let's drive this can i pop a basic fluid tank on say you are going to input from the bottom auto input you've now got fuel in you can you output to the top do i need to give it some coal first does it need charcoal and fuel so here you see me troubleshooting this um just to see if it was to do with the basic store that's the basic storage that's my that's my basic tank good just want to see if i can say you empty no right so i want to go out no. to the to the left they're not draining connected why won't you drain i was doing items okay try this with that stairs pump out fuel to be you first you haven't gone blue hmm i need a bucket well i'm wondering if i need to do it with a bucket so it has to be a bucket well that's a little bit annoying i can't pipe directly into it so but we've got a superheated thing so that's steel dust that i've got somewhere uh steel dust right in you go let's get some steel out of this thing shall go in why aren't you why aren't you doing anything there's the steel dust gone why is my steel dust just oh it's gone down here okay uh, lose this guy's superheater he's got 900 seconds left on it uh, uh. right well we managed to figure that out so you bucket the fuel onto the blaze burner so we probably need a mechanical arm and and the fuel line coming up and creating buckets but it looks like we've got a bucket and a third of molten steel <laughs> excellent i don't want that on it in a bucket so i can make this recipe but in fact that's only going to ever get steel dust so right molten steel right i'm just preparing um to get a load of uh, steel done because we're going to need a lot and i've been a little bit busy so this guy is going to pick up the fuel he's going to pop it with the blaze burner and then he's going to put the bucket back there that will go in and come back here okay i've actually got one spare bucket i think so but if i do that there you go put it there the bucket refills that refills but this redstone is telling that to stop don't do anything i don't want to waste fuel it will just keep adding it here or it will start circling it here so this redstone this is outputting a power of three to say this blaze burner is on and the time is reducing our one two three means the redstone is stopping this guy from doing its thing i can actually override that and stop it anyway with a switch and then when this blaze burner is out of power this will then not be able to output a one i think a one or a two and then this will turn off so you can see it's outputting three when that runs out of time uh one runs out of time 120 seconds left they'll output a one or a two and it will then turn that on so we have uh, oh yeah this is what happens see because i let it do it it's now moved that fuel bucket to there which i don't want it to do i'm gonna put it back there and then it will spin around when it's ready to do its thing oh I, oh maybe it's because that signal is interrupted there we go so that's now not doing it until that runs out of power and then it will do it again now i need to go and make the steel and oh yes i've been busy down here let me just pop these things in and i'll tell you what i've done that and that and it's fully speed upgraded and we are making steel dust good um i've automated fuel so you can see we've got four buckets of fuel in here now and if i go into free cam mode it's probably easier to show you what's going on so we have a cobblestone coming in from more cobblestone generators over there we're piping it over here it's getting crushed into gravel and getting crushed into sand and then the sand is turning into soul sand because soul sand is the main ingredient in the oil cells so this is making oil and it's outputting oil saltpeter and coal dust and you can see in here in a minute you'll see that there's coal dust and saltpeter in there we're going to use them later and then we get fuel cell uh, oil cells going into our distillation tower and the distillation tower is making fuel and sulfuric acid the fuel comes up here onto this uh, fluid item drain so we're going in there and the sulfuric acid comes into this chest and you'll see in this chest uh, saltpeter coal dust and uh, and sulfuric acid anyway fuel automated we have hopefully got uh 32 of these i can put some more in there we're going to get a nice stack of steel and while that's doing that i need to make my sturdy 
armor to make our whoop to make our spacesuit. So the spacesuit is made with the sturdy chest plate and then steel plates and lead plates and stuff. This stuff is made with blocks of sturdy sheets, which is four. So I should be able to make uh 16. Maybe quite enough, I think. Uh oh, it's the oh, yeah, five, that's 21. That's not gonna be enough. So we need to go and get some more sturdy sheets, which of course I prepared earlier. Oh, do that. Good. Right, and now we should be able to make Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. You. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. Right. So that's the first step in the armor done. Um, let's go and have a look what's going on down here. Uh, need a few more, please. Um, power is a bit of a problem. These machines. I need better power generation because this just doesn't keep up at all. Um, yeah, it doesn't keep up, does it? Yeah. It wants to use 40,000 energy a tick. And I'm I'm using, I'm only producing, well, like these, these cubes. So I put another cube here to try and give us some buffer um, but that hasn't worked at all um, these cubes only can output 128 at a time so we need a, a, another power solution back when this is done right we've got 64 and i wanted to get 64 on purpose because it's a quest yes it's a quest why have i got oh yes i've made this stuff haven't i that's why i got that uh, oh i got a flail whatever that might be and then in piglin peculiarities getting uh 64 steel dust was this quest and now we can get eight ingots. Well, we can turn this steel dust into steel. Um, so I'm just going to pop up here. I'm going to pop up there and I'm going to throw you all in there. Okay. And now if I turn you off, you are now making steel. Oh, yeah. And we've got this set up so we can now cast things out. So we need to look at what we need. So we need to make for our space suit uh, steel plates. Four steel plates for that. Four, five, six, seven, eight steel plates. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve steel plates uh 14 steel plates so i've got a plate mold and i can do that um and we can just say one at a time this is me for the next five minutes and 14 now i think i've got everything else that we need i think to actually make all of this so lead line space suit coming up lead line space helmet uh lead lined the oxygen uh tanks gotta go in separately oh yes we get in there the lead line pants Look at that. And the lead line space boots. Aha! Oh, we're ready for Mercury. Obviously, I need to put oxygen in the tanks, but yes. Right, now it's time to work out how to build this spaceship. So the spacesuit stuff hasn't unlocked because we need to do this one, which is do not drink the Listerine, which is about making 60k knack coolant, whatever that may be. And that's made through a chemical reactor with potassium and sodium and potassium. You can see what's happening here, can't you? Potassium comes from an industrial electrolyzer with saltpeter, which we've just started making, which is so that should so we should be able to make that. And the sodium actually comes from you can use the industrial electrolyzer and clay dust with uh, empty cells and that makes the sodium cell and this lazarite dust. And I'm not sure what we're going to do with that yet, but I think we should set up another little line around here somewhere to make those two coolants or those two cells, the lithium, the sodium, the potassium and all that sort of stuff. Right. So we need to craft a um, industrial electrolyzer. We can probably make two of these. We've got enough lead. We've got uh, enough of this stuff absolutely we have so let's make two of these one that's going to be focused on the uh saltpeter and the other one that's going to be focused on the clay aha uh -huh. right and this again is going to need power but for now uh we're just going to deal with what we've got and see how it goes and i'm thinking maybe we could do it up there um and i can pipe clay and stuff into the back of this machines don't know um we want clay and we want saltpeter and they want to pipe it out to a storage um hmm maybe we could do it here and just have a chest on top yeah now um i've set the two machines up and if you remember rightly i started collecting a load of dripstone which hopefully is in here and why i started collecting this was oh i can use this stuff i can turn you into dripstone blocks can't i is that right yes it is right um so why i started doing that was because you could get clay from these guys and our next job is to get clay dust which is uh 
in a grinder so we can actually crush all of this dripstone i think into clay du, 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 du. and let's just do it with you you should now be going in there and you should have made a load of clay uh -huh. so i could pop you lot in there and we should have a whole ton of clay perfect and now we can put this lot in the grinder do, actually can you do it in through these wheels no you can't it's got to be through a grinder and we can make clay dust ah, yeah, grinder 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 uh grinder clay dust going very quick which is jolly good i think what i could do actually is a chest on top of you uh chest please uh yeah let's use an iron chest that's what was in there grinder you lot can go in there okay you can input from the top auto input very much and that will just happily do its thing right let's go get some salt peter da, 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 da. a stack or two of you as we'll get all of it and now if i chuck you in there you're doing your thing and you're running out of power of course you're running out of power they should be pushing in there and we've got compressed air we've got nitrogen and we've got potassium and then if we put the clay dust in here we're getting lazarite we're getting sodium so it was the potassium and the sodium we needed well it all seems to be working whoops i need more empty cells of course i need more empty cells right now we've got our sodium and potassium we should be able to put it into a chemical reactor which i think i've got haven't i chemical reactor presser wire mill industrial center i thought i had a chemical reactor okay well we're going to make a chemical reactor so let's do that chemical reactor needs uh extractors of stuff yep yeah. oh and advanced integrated circuit so no obviously we didn't make one of these we didn't have these so right let's make that and we should be able to put uh two three four four of them in um four of them in and it should do a thing and it is doing a thing excellent can we speed that thing up we can but it's just going to kill the power um even that's killing the power so we won't speed it up we'll just let it do its thing so we've got the nat coolant cell and we are progressing we are we're progressing this is all done i picked out some lazarite as well so we've got our uwa what on earth's an uwa we've got this guy so we can have all of these which is great our inventory is filling up with rubbish and junk no idea what an uwa is but anyway and we now need to well we didn't even make the uh the eight steel ingots so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a steel block i'm assuming i can do this um i hope i can do this can i now turn you into nine ingots i can good so that's that done and uh, we get one of these catwalks which is always really handy so we've done you oh Oh, I've got to go and pick it up. I'm going to have to go and pick it up, aren't I? Catwalks. Where did the other catwalks go? Good. Um, actually, they can go back there. Let's go get our spacesuit. Looks like that's done. It is. Uh, boots. Did I not pick the boots up? Clearly not. Okay. Spacesuit done. Excellent. And we get a uh, metal bracket. Don't know what that is. So we should... Well, we can make a lot of the stuff for this guy. Uh, we can make the steel blocks. We're going to make the ostrum. We need to make digital displays. So we've got a new machine part here, which is wire, carbon mesh, and steel plates. And we've got to make a... We've got these engines that's a process still stuff to do isn't it i think we're going to carry on down this line of progression so really we want to make this motor next um so we can get that done uh that's a process um uh, we've got rubber we've got copper sheets we need these machine parts which is superheated again bit of luck we've got fuel um superheated and i can use the mixer that i've got set up already no i probably can't let's set up another mixer with um well we've got that over there so it's these machine parts that's got steel plates, carbon meshes and wire on a superheated uh, blaze burner. And we've got a blaze burner and a mixer already set up over there somewhere. So I think we could get on with this lot. So this uh, machine part, is it? Machine part needs steel plates where well, we can pour them out. That's fine. And we need carbon mesh. And carbon mesh comes from the same kind of process, but with carbon fiber. And carbon fiber is made with coal dust. And guess what we'd be making is we'd be making coal dust. So we can get on and make the carbon fiber. Oh, let me just turn this into that one, that one, that one, and that one. Right, that's our carbon fiber. And then that gets superheated heated right uh, yeah carbon fiber two carbon fiber makes one carbon mesh superheated so we're going to need a couple of buckets of fuel by the looks of this that might be all the fuel we've got for now okay so let's go over here 
Um, in fact, if I've only got a couple of buckets of fuel, how many of these do we need? That makes four, and I need one per motor. Oh, got to do some actual working out now. One per motor. So I need two of them and two of them. Let's go get the steel plates. Get everything together, and then we should only use one bucket of fuel to make all of this. Steel plate, I've done my maths right. So I need four engines. So I need four of those for that. And I need six of those. So I need ten of those. And these come, there's four of them. So I need three recipes. So I need 24, three of them, and three steel plates. Okay, I've got enough wires. And I think I've got enough carbon fiber. Right, we should be good to do this with the one, the one thingy. So we want to pop you lot in there and then we pop our three our three lots of uh wire and that should have given us carbon fiber sheets so we need three of you and three of you right and that should make 12 of them mm, i think Ooh, it's doing it aha we've got 12 of them and then we need to make four motors so that's mechanical crafting so i need four threes of 12 and six eight rubber right isn't it uh rubber we've got plenty of rubber and we want some proper sheets <laughs> brass sheets in there proper sheets there we go got a button there good so what was the recipe uh three one two okay so we've got one of you uh two of you three of you press the button we got our first motor right repeat uh -huh. our four motors that's our four motors done so we can now turn them into engines four motors precision mechanisms so we need four knack coolants and some capacitors which we've made plenty of before so i need four more knack coolants have we got any more over here uh we've got one more so knack coolant if i put the other knack coolant oh, i had another one hmm i used it i didn't use it anyway three more and it was uh usages of sodium potassium and sodium potassium and sodium rest air oh there's the other one look potassium that'll make one more so i just need two more sodium and sodium came from the clay dust so that's coming from this guy right then yes i think i'm set up i'm going it's going the belt's going this way so i've set up very simple oh i need to connect rotations to those ah not quite set up yet uh should be able to with i need to get to my toolbox there's my toolbox i want you and i want you should be able to um double shaft there shaft there shaft there and you can go to there to there and then we're going to take shaft in there you from there to there aha right pop you away uh, get my precision mechanism back on my hot bar okay so now i think we're set up so if i give this guy four of those um can i do that or should i just put them let's put some of those chest things on the top shall we yeah let's do it this way that makes much more sense um and then you want to output below output to the bottom auto output control c to copy it and then control v to paste and control v to paste good and now if i put my motors in there if i put my knack coolant in there and i put my pastas in there then i put my precision mechanisms in there i only want four of them but we've got four engines yes this is going really well look we are progressing look we've done that and i get 16 tiny tnt i mean we can make the ostrom engines we, i think we're gonna run out of ostrom but i think we can actually make the rocket Ooh! right let's check our ostrom count of course we need to make the two digital displays which i have everything for i think there's one there's two okay so we've got the two digital displays that's part of the rocket we've got the four engines that's part of the rocket that isn't i don't need that um i want to keep this stuff on me just in case what else do we need for the rocket uh we need an advanced circuit we've got seven of them excellent we need uh one two three four ostrom blocks and we don't have much ostrom left i don't think let's have a sleep well we are all out of ostrom so off to mars for the ostrom i forgot torches finally Oof. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that'll do da, 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 da. scene more hmm aha processing 
and melting. Good, jolly good. So we want to make the engine, which is one of these guys, which is iron rods, uh, which is molten iron with a rod cast. We could do that. And the engine fan, which is more rods than a sturdy sheet. Okay. Rods, sturdy sheet, engine time, engine frame. We have an engine frame and we have an engine fan and we have the engine mushroom engine aha so that means i just need the four ostrom blocks oh this is great check this stuff away need them either four ostrom blocks oh we're gonna have enough we're gonna have enough plenty of ostrom Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. i think we're gonna be able to do this if i can remember the recipe uh two digital displays four engines um i can't remember I can't remember that was close uh uh, four engines yes that's right four engines two three four two of those the nostril engine oh yes oh yes oh yes oh yes check out that should mean we're getting some mushrooms now we can put some fuel in it <laughs> get our spacesuit on go to mercury uh tough space suit please spare oxygen spare fuel fuel the rocket Spare launch pad <laughs> don't forget the launch pad uh where are you launch launch pad and one small step for dsd one giant leap for dsd kind solar system mercury mercury why am i taking damage what why did i why did i burn on mercury hmm? something was wrong well i've no idea what actually happened there it doesn't seem like i could survive but even though i'm definitely in the right gear that it tells you to be in so i have had to go into creative mode and get my rocket back and my stuff back but we made it we've unlocked the next chapter i believe which is subatomic welcome we get a nice apple cupcake and some xp and now we can start to work through to get to the next the last tier i believe thank you for getting this far the last tier of rocket and we are going to look at that in the next episode hopefully you've enjoyed this one um we need to figure out i'll figure out in between episodes why i'm not surviving on mercury and then we'll go and do some exploring and get to the next tier rocket thanks for watching catch you in the next one